Chapter Eight of the Enchanted Castle. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. The Enchanted Castle: Fairy Tales from Flowerland, by Hartwell James. Chapter Eight: The Ungrateful Traveler. That blue and bright-eyed flower of the brook, hope's gentle gem, the sweet forget-me-not. Coleridge. Once a weary traveller, wandering alone on the steep side of a bare and desolate mountain, came unexpectedly upon a tiny stream of water trickling down between the rocks. Following its course down the mountainside, he entered a wooded glen where the banks of the stream were covered with green grass, among which he suddenly espied the sweet blue blossoms of a tiny flower. For many days his path had lain across a rough and rugged country, where no blade of grass or star-like blossom greeted his coming, so now he eagerly gathered a handful of the pale blue flowers and tied them for safety to the handle of his staff. Then, as he turned to continue his way, he saw before him a great doorway in the rock, which opened to him of its own accord. Entering, he found himself in a magnificent home, where around him on every side lay heaps of treasure, gold, silver, and rich raiment, while fairy voices bid him help himself. Hastily throwing aside his staff, and with it the luck flowers which he had gathered, he filled his pockets with jewels, and taking as much treasure as he could carry in his arms, he turned to retrace his steps. As he did so, a sweet voice sounded in his ear, crying, Forget me not, forget me not. But the ungrateful traveller paid no attention to the cry and as he left the home, the great door closed behind him with a crash. Instantly he found himself once more upon the bleak mountainside. The treasure which he had so greedily collected vanished from his grasp. Not even his staff remained to him, for he had left it behind with the luck flowers. Then, full of grief and disappointment, he continued his journey across the lonely mountain, but though he sought it far and near, he never again found the precious luck flower, without which he could not gain an entrance to the fairy cave. Thus was his ingratitude punished, and the sweet forget-me-not growing by the riverside contains a lesson for all who gather it, bidding them ever remember the great giver of all good gifts. End of chapter 8